Herbert Farm and Natural Area. This is the natural area. As far as I know, this is the pass into it. There's no services or facilities here, uh, just the parking lot, and then you go up the road and there you are. So the pass is flooded out here. Luckily there's this concrete berm, water coming out over there, and over in that direction, there's a water intake. I believe this is Muddy Creek. Close to here, close to the Herbert Farm and Natural Area, is where it joins Mary's River, which as we know is everywhere. As you can see, this is pretty crude. Just a mud trail going down, leading up here to a meadow. I would say this is Mary's River again. After all, if you run into a body of water near Corvallis, you can just guess it's the Mary's River and you'll probably be right. Uh, it's too small though, too clogged. So there's two things going on. Either this is a channel of the Mary's River or this is the main body of Mud Creek and what I passed before was a side channel of Mud Creek or perhaps just a ditch. Um, and where I am, there's a lot of little bodies of water that are kind of channelized and going into each other and branching out. So it's hard to say what is what exactly, but this is some type of water. Okay, now this is the Mary's River. You can see the water's wider, looks deeper, flowing faster. And if you look over there, towards that bend. I think that's where the channel that I was just at joins it. And this is in such a way that that was like two minutes and a hundred feet that way. Um, but I have no idea like where the water joins or, or what's going on. A, a very dense and kind of labyrinthine navigation, even though this is a pretty small park. And if you look over there, just on the other side of the river, that is close to, or indeed is, the Mary's River Natural Area where I was two weeks ago. Um, kind of funny, it's very close, but it's a long ways away. So I spent about an hour walking around this meadow, even though I could probably run across this meadow in two minutes. As you saw, it was not much at the parking lot, and then there was a long walk, and then there was the water we had to cross. So this entire part of the natural area, I am the only person here. Might be the only person here all day. So I would say there's a lot of solitude here. That's really relative. I can still hear the airplanes coming into the local airport, but pretty good for a Saturday in November.